Hello. Hello and welcome back. My name is Amir and this is Project Euler series, puzzle number six. So let's get to the puzzle and see what we are facing for today. Right, the sum of the squares of the first ten natural number is this one. And the square of the sum is this one. So the difference between the two is this value. And they ask us to find the difference between the sum of the two squares of the first 100 natural numbers. Okay, uh, we have two different methods. One is just having a for loop and doing the arithmetic as we go along. This is the easiest way. And uh, there is another way. So there, there are formulas for 1 to 10 and then square and sum of the squares. So, the f so for the sum of the squares, there is a well-known uh, formula that I will link to the description, how to calculate that. This is one, so we have one squared plus two squared plus all the way to n squared. This is equal to n times n plus one times uh, 2n plus 1 this is a very well known formula I will provide a link in the description if you want to see how we can get from this to this but we are just going to use it for now mm -hmm. for the square of sums we just need to add this together and then the square it. and we know the addition from going from 1 to 10 is the triangular number for 10 which is 10 times 11 divided by 2 so we would say n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and then we um, get it to power 2 so it will be math So if I like the difference, it should be the same as the example. Right, it's correct. Um, but the other one, I will write them, that one as well. I will reset these values to zero so I can use them again. And these should be let so I don't get any error of reassignment. And there should be a for loop. Then I will take this to power 2 and uh, subtract this from that. So it will be the same as this with small change. This can be, so the result should be the same. So, but what is the difference in terms of calculation and so on? This is always a constant number, so it doesn't matter if n goes up or down. The time that is needed to, you know, calculate this one is constant because we are doing a constant operation here. But for this one, this is a O of n. As n goes up, this number will go up. So for example, if I say 1 million, they are kind of the same. But as we go up, you will see that the last, this one will lag a little bit. So already. And of course, if we go way up, As you can see, it's still calculating. So this is about it for puzzle number six. Oh, I need to I need to provide the answer. So it's one hundred, and the result is this value. Uh, 
Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in next puzzle, which is puzzle number seven.